what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, coming to you with another Halo 5 custom map, and this one is called Bubble Loop by Aloha Apeful. Now, this map was originally intended for mongooses, but whenever 343 came out with a new update to fix the issue where, you know, vehicles will just hit a small bump and go flying, unfortunately, whenever they fix that, they made mongooses to where they aren't as fast and they don't jump quite as far. So, you know, basically every single jump in this entire map is broken where you will not make it as a mongoose. So I really enjoyed this map and I really wanted people to be able to play it. So I went in and changed all the mongooses to ghost. Um, and so the Bubble Loop ghost version of it is on my file share. Now I really hope the creator of this map, you know, sees this video and then maybe updates their version of it with, you know, maybe fixing some of the jumps or something um, or just changing the ghost also so we can download it from that person's file share. Now I would have went in and changed the jumps to where they're closer together, but unfortunately, uh, Aloha Apple used the entire budget so I wasn't able to do that that's one reason why I just switched it to ghost but this map was a lot of fun to be able to play on I love how all the turns and everything intertwine with each other so you actually are not racing on a very open area like it's not just like a big old you know long stretched out map where it's really open it is a very long map though it does take a while to be able to finish one lap uh, but everything is intertwining with each other so it really feels like it's more compact and it's not quite as long of a map. But Aloha Apel was able to color every single piece of the track. I love whenever people do something like that, especially if they aren't able to put aesthetics and things around the map. At least go in and color um, every piece of the track so it looks, you know, kind of different. So it's just not a bland, you know, looking track the entire time, like a typical gray track. Now, another really awesome thing that Aloha Apel was able to do on this map was make this little tunnel section of it but put tons of different lights and things inside the tunnel. So whenever you come flying through, it gets very trippy and kind of, you know, makes it a little bit difficult to, you know, sometimes to drive through because it's dark and the lights are all flashing and things. So it's a lot of fun to be able to drive through and that's definitely the best part of the map in my opinion. There are also tons of jumps around the maps and they use different types of objects for each, you know, jump. It's not always just a typical uh, block jump, you know, you may have like the little shield door looking things, uh, those type of jumps and stuff. So it's definitely really cool. Now the very end of the map uh, with a mongoose, you would go up and you would do a backflip to enter into the actual spawn of the map. But unfortunately, ghosts don't really work the same way. So what you basically have to do is just drive to where the gap is. Don't go up the backflip spot, just drive down into the hole and you will go back in the beginning of the map. Now, talking about the beginning of the map, that is a very cool room using the breakout pieces. I love what Aloha April was able to do with that room. It's something I've never seen for a race map have a starting room look like that. So it did a really good job with that. And this is a map that I really enjoy, guys. Definitely go check it out and download it. The ghost version is on my own file share, uh, but be sure to go to Aloha Apple's file share because, uh, you know, you might have updated the map, and but currently whenever I've recorded this, the map hasn't been updated. So hopefully they will see this video and also go in and update the map, update all the jumps and everything. So guys, if you do make a race map, uh, make sure you go and update all the jumps to where they work. Uh, now, now that the mongoose is a little heavier and it doesn't jump quite as far, I already updated uh, my cliffside mine track so y'all can definitely, you know, check that one out again. But one thing that's really cool about Halo 5 is that y'all don't have to re-bookmark the maps. Whenever I, like my cliffside mine map, if y'all already have it bookmarked, all y'all have to do is just go in and play it. it. You know, if I make changes to the map and hit save, then it will also, you know, make all the changes to the maps that y'all have bookmarked. So that's the really cool thing with Halo 5. Now before this video ends guys, I do want to say uh, that I have a special thanks goes out to Kiss. Um, you know, he knows I don't know how to say his full name, but we always just call him Kiss. He always joins up in all my streams and he, we play a lot and everything. He's a great guy. But he has also donated, uh, you know, become a patron of my Patreon of uh, $25 so that he gets a shout out at the end of the video. So I really appreciate it. You know, thank you so much, Kiss, for all the support. And everyone else, I just want to say everyone else, you know, that has supported me on Patreon, I uh, really also appreciate it. Y'all are, you know, y'all are amazing. I know not everyone's able to donate, and I'm not saying that y'all aren't also, but I do want to just say that Kiss, you know, for doing $25 support a month, I really appreciate it. You are an awesome person and thank you so much but guys I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button and also like this video and share it around so more people get to see this and remember guys let's forge a new halo